Check my before we start. The first thing we're going to do is do a battery check on the mega. It's on YouTube. See it. Six million hits. So battery check. Make sure the battery's good, which it is. Three amp scale zero at the meter. I don't want you on my camera. Alright, now make sure you zero it out and this is a little bit off. So everyone's using a blast and then I had the results here. Alright. So I zero out the meter. The next thing we're going to do, make sure these have some continuity in them. Alright, because there's a fair chance that they can break. Alright, you don't need a zero amount, just make sure that it's continuous so you can get some sort of reading. Alright, so they're good. Alright, so now, first thing I'll do before I start, bridge out active and neutral at the consumer's mains. Bridge out active at the meter panel. Turn on all the circuit breakers. Turn on all the switches and all the lighting points. And disconnect any appliances if they're connected. Alright, so we're ready to start. So the first thing I'm going to do is resistance and main earthing conductor. So we test from the MEM link or the earthing point to the main earth stake. And a reading of 0.1. Alright, make sure to test the earth stake and not to this cable because there might be some plastic or rubber in between. It's like Second test is going to be from there to the water pipe. And I've got 2.1 ohms in my water pipe. Earthing system passes, water pipe fails. Needs to be less than 0.5. Alright, <coughs> insulation resistance. So what I'm going to do insulation resistance on the 500 volt scale. Twice the amount of voltage, I'm going to test my bridge, so where I've bridged it out. And I'm getting infinity. Alright, I'll double check the meter to make sure it's working, which it is. Alright, so I'm getting infinity, which is really good. I then disconnect my leads and I turn off all my circuit breakers. And bridge out active and neutral and my sub circuits. And test <coughs> to my bridge. So again, I'm getting infinity to circuit number one. Alright, that's circuit one again, but we'll test it. That's infinity. Circuit number two. Infinity, which is good. And socket out that number one. Set it out to infinity. Alright, so that's good. So that pass is meant to be greater than one. The reason they all were infinity was because our whole installation was infinity. So it already passed initially, but to prove the test, we went through and did it again. Alright, next thing we're going to do is the appliance. Alright, the appliance. Don't go using the socket out for this. We're dealing with the appliance. So the first thing we're going to do is earthing of the appliance. And all we're doing is we're testing from the earth pin. And to the front. So that'll be insulated, I think. Hey? What's that? No. Yes, Patty. Alright, Earth to the frame, get infinity. Yeah, make sure if you get infinity on the 3 amp scales, you change the scale to 500. Just to make sure, because you might have a resistance greater than 3. So that's the infinity. So the answer there is infinity or greater than 500 ohm. Alright, obviously that's going to fail. Insulation resistance on the 500 volt scale. Alright, we test between active and neutral to earth. And we get infinity, which is good. Make sure in the exam, if you have <coughs> a appliance with some switches that's turned on, alright, we'll turn on full. That's a toaster, so it's, it's a little bit different. Alright, so that passes, that's infinity, that's really good. Next one we're going to do is earthing resistance of um, sub -seeders. Quickly, just do another. Zero, just to make sure the meter's still all right, which it is. Into the MEM link, and we start measuring our earth. So circuit number one, socket out the one. All right, point one. So you write that down on your sheet. 
circuit, knowing the ball one, swap it out to two. Point one as well. Circuit two, outlet one. 1.10 and circuit two, socket outlet two is 0.1. So you write that down on your sheet. We also test the earthing of the appliance, all right, which is again that's 0.1 and each individual circuit. So we go to our exhaust fan, 0.1, fluoro, 0.1. With the fluoro, do you go to the earth terminal or do you go to the metal frame? No, the earth terminal. Yep. <coughs> and ceiling raise is 1.1. Okay. So you write that down to your table, you add your RPH to the, what you've just measured, and that value needs to be less than what's in your table 8.2 grid book. Alright, so that's that done. Next thing we're going to do is polarity. So we're measuring here to make sure that the active consumer's mains is continuous to the main switch. So active of the main switch up to the active of the consumer's mains. All right, 1.15 or thereabouts. All right. And neutral. Neutral, we've got 1.1. Alright, we're looking for a deflection on the 3 ohm scale. So as long as we get some deflection, indicate that we've got some sort of continuity, our polarity will pass. Next thing we're going to do is switching of final sub-circuits. Alright, again on the 3 ohm scale, so we'll start off with socket outlet number 1 on circuit 1. So we go to the active circuit 1, active with the GPO, and flip the switch on and off. Alright, the needle is moving backwards and forwards, so that indicates the active is being switched, which is good. We then go to socket outlet, socket outlet 2 on circuit 1, flip the switch. That's switching the active, so that's good as well. Don't need to test the neutral because the active is being switched. We then go across to socket outlet circuit number 2, socket outlet 1, go into the active, flip the switch. Alright, active is not being switched. Alright, so then what we do, we leave this in the active pin because that's the only pin that gets switched on a socket outlet. Move across to the neutral, flick the switch, the neutral gets switched. Alright, we then go across to circuit number two, socket outlet two, back into the active, and the active's been switched there. Alright, any of the active's been switched is great, passes, neutral or neither, obviously fail. Then go across to our lighting circuit, so we go into the active, the lighting circuit, we'll go to the exhaust fan, flip the switch on and off, alright, no deflection. So we move across to the neutral, flip the switch on and off, alright, so the neutral's been switched. Go back to the active, up to the active of the fluoro, The switch on and off. Alright, needle is getting the flexion, so we're switching the active, so that's good. And finally, we go up to our ceiling rows, and that's also switching the active, so that passes. So anything that switches the active is going to be a pass, anything that switches a neutral or neither will fail. We then come to the last test, which is fault loop impedance. Fault loop impedance we do between active and earth. What we need to do now though, is make sure we zero out these leads in the circuit because they are going to be in the circuit, so the resistance will play a part. So you zero out these leads. Alright, so there's zero. And we bridge out active and earth, so we're creating a dead short. It's fault loop, so there needs to be a loop. So we're going to test from earth to the active of that circuit back at the switchboard. So circuit number one, which is here. Our fault loop impedance for that is about 0.25 of an ohm. So you write that down in your table. We then go across to circuit one, socket outlet two, which is probably going to be the same reading because it's the same circuit, which it is. And circuit number two, socket outlet one, 
So now we go to the active of circuit number two. All right, on the 3 ohm scale, we're getting infinity. So we change over to 500 just to double check, and we're still getting infinity or greater than 500. We can double check why we're getting that because we were switching the neutral here. All right, so there isn't an active there at all. That's all you need to do. Don't go any further with that test. You then write down those readings. You go to table 8.2, and then you work out if your RPHE is less than what is in what you've just recorded. If your RPHE that you measure is less than what's in the book, it passes. If not, it fails. Hit yourself in the face. <laughs> and that's 50 marks done. <laughs> Although you say hit yourself in the face, that's 50 marks gone. <laughs> that it? That's it. Um.